Hey, what's up everybody? Danny Lightning here with a DRL racing video. This is the DRL Simulator, the Drone Racing League. Alright, most of these drones on here, you barely tap the throttle and they get moving a million miles per hour. And that, that kind of power is very hard to manage for someone who's kind of new to this. So I've designed a drone called Lightning Starter. I've set it to public. This handle is just as good as the other ones. It's just a little slower, so the uh, throttle is much easier to manage. All right, let's go fly a couple courses with this. We'll do we'll do a couple laps with this guy, and then we'll do a couple laps with a really fast one. And you'll see how much easier this is to fly. So if you're starting out, this would be perfect for your first couple weeks or your first couple months. And once you get really good with this one, then you can move on to one of the more really fast ones and you'll probably do awesome but once you once you're like brand new to these racing type courses when you're having to make really sharp turns and go through the gates and stuff I don't think these really really fast drones are what you want to be honest not for someone who's just kinda of starting out so let's find my lightning starter alright we're gonna go ahead and do we'll just do the four laps with this and then we'll do four laps with one of the really powerful ones and you'll be able to see the difference so far I think I came in number 18th on this map out of everybody who's playing this game I am flying with a four inch drone so that's only for people flying this map on four inch drones but here we go alright this is the one I've designed it just flies so nice even at full throttle it's not going all that fast all right, that's pretty much full throttle right there. But I can slow down no problem to take one of these corners. Got a little bit off right there. That's full throttle. So we're hitting full throttle on the straightaways. Now we're going to slow down for to take the corners. And it's actually not that hard to slow down because this throttle is so much more manageable than it is on the faster ones. So yeah, this is actually so much easier to fly. So we're going to compare our times once I finish this. We'll compare times with uh, the two different drones. My beginner's drone, which really it's still pretty fast. I think it does like 80 miles per hour or something. I just messed up there. So I made a big mistake. Darn it. So all of a sudden it's like the uh, music just got louder than normal. Alright, so I messed up pretty bad. You'll have that kind of thing though. You'll, you'll screw up here and there. You run into stuff. That's the whole point of the simulator is to be able to race these things and get good, but... From now on, I think I'm only going to fly this drone for quite some time. Especially on some of the smaller maps where you're in really tight spots. I think this is going to be so much easier for something like that. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to take these at full throttle because I'm trying to save time from my mistake. Hopefully that doesn't make me do worse because sometimes when you try and go too fast, you make even more mistakes. So let's slow it down a little bit. See, I had no problem slowing down to come around that turn. Full throttle on the straightaways. All right, let's slow down through here a little bit. I think I almost missed that gate because I went a little bit too high in the air. If you get up too high, you're going to miss gates as well. Oh. All right, this is my last lap. Let's see if I can come in better. Ah, crap. Let's see if I can come in better than 18th place like I did last time. Probably not because I just had two, two pretty bad mistakes. I think that one really, really slowed me down. So again, I'm flying a little faster than I normally would to try and make up time. But even at full throttle, this isn't too terribly hard to fly compared to some of the other ones. I really, really enjoy this. This one is just perfect for me. I wouldn't say I'm a beginner, and I'm def but I'm definitely not an expert. Crap! So about 3 minutes and 17 seconds, if I wouldn't have 
messed up the finish there. Alright, so let's see what place I came in that time. Last time I came in at 3 minutes and 16 seconds, that was 18th place. This time I did 3 minutes and 19 seconds, that's still really, really good. So out of everybody who's flown this course on the entire game with a 4-inch quad, I am number 18. That's, that's, I can be pretty proud of that because I'm really, really new to this kind of flying. Alright, so let's go back and we're going to do this with one of the more powerful drones and we're going to try and beat that time. What was that? 3 minutes and 18 seconds, right? Remember that. Alright, we're going to change to... DRL Racer 3. I really, really like this one for one of the more powerful ones. I'm going to restart that because I... I Wait it too long and I wasted a couple seconds. Alright, here we go. This has so much more power. The problem I have is trying to go fast and then it's kind of hard to slow down when you get to the corners. This is a lot harder to fly in my opinion. Trying to fly a little slower and manage the throttle better. Let's try and go fast on the straightaways and then kind of slow down for parts like this and see what happens. I actually like the, the way the other one flies a lot better. This is hard. This is actually really hard. But when you change from one to the other, you kind of got to get a feel for the other one again. I'm actually doing pretty darn good, I think. Oh, I almost went the wrong direction there. Get back in there. Let's try and go real fast through this straightaway. Alright, slow down, slow down. Ooh. See, that's, as you can tell, I'm definitely not flying as good on this thing. This is much more sloppy type of flying here. Oh, now I'm going too fast. It's really, really hard to control the speed. Really hard to control the speed. I missed that gate because I was going too fast. I missed that gate because I gave it just a little bit too much throttle. Ah. Missed another gate, man. See, this is so much harder to fly one of these faster ones. It's just, the throttle is so much harder to manage for me. Okay, one more lap. I missed the gate again, man. I'm sure you can understand why I like the other one. I missed that gate. See, that's the problem. It, it's so hard to manage these this really sensitive throttle when you're not used to it. I mean, if you flew this every day, of course you're going to get used to it, but... If you're just kind of a novice at this, I would definitely suggest flying the one I designed. Find that. Find that and fly it. It looks like I'm already slower. So roughly 3 minutes and 25 seconds or something. If I would have gotten to the gate and not screwed up. Alright, so basically, I think you guys should check out the one I designed. You're probably going to have a much better time with it. There I got 3 minutes and 34 seconds. So that was a lot slower. 
Let's see, my best time with this guy has been 3 minutes and 33 seconds, and with a 5 inch drone, or a 6 inch drone, I came at 290th place. Definitely not as good as rank number 18 with the other one. So, personally, I'm going to stick with the one I designed. So, anyways, hope this video helps. Catch you guys later.